Right now at 530, new data from the state shows over a quarter of North Carolina counties have now reported cases of a food-related parasite. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lena Tillette. And I'm Dan Haggerty. Wake County still has the most cases, 125. This comes as the hunt to find the source of this outbreak continues. WRAL health reporter Grace Haba continues to investigate this puzzling case. Grace has been all over this, joining us now live with updates. Grace. Yeah, we've continued to dig into this story to try to bring our viewers more answers about what's making people so sick here in North Carolina. And we now know today cyclospore cases this year have impacted people People well beyond just Wake County, extending to other parts of North Carolina. 28 counties have reported at least one case of cyclospora so far this year, according to DHHS. Wake leads the way with 125 cases, followed by New Hanover with 17, Brunswick and Mecklenburg with 14, and Guilford County with 13. The local health department staff try and interview every one of those cases to determine what is their food history, what might be their likely source of exposure. With at least 206 cases across multiple counties, we asked the state what clues that kind of geographical spread could give. Does that seem to suggest that this is coming from more than one source? Well, that's a great question. It could be coming from more than one source or it could be one source that's very widely distributed. Dr. Carl Williams with DHHS's Communicable Disease Branch says further analyzing stool samples from patients could also reveal additional leads. If it's a single point source that's distributed widely, you're more likely to seek highly related specimens from the patients. If it's multiple introductions of cyclospora from different sources, you're going to see different genetic sequences. The downside, he says, that kind of diagnostic testing isn't currently required in North Carolina, and most specimens simply aren't kept long enough by labs for it to be considered. Now, you may remember a couple days ago I told you about using grocery store membership cards and credit card receipts to track what people bought and ate. Well, the state says those are also additional tools that they are using to try and sort all of this out.